Hello Cyclones fans, I'm here with head men's basketball coach Tim Fusina a day after his 78-72 to victory over Moravian College. Coach, first of all, um, close game throughout. Yeah. How did the uh, team keep the game, you know, within reach? Um, I think it was a well, I think it was a, wasn't the best played game on either side, but both teams played extremely hard. Uh, the team that played harder and got the stops at the end was going to win, and, and thankfully that was us. Uh, we're, we're lucky to win. Uh, we played very hard. Uh, Moravian played played very hard too. Uh, we were we just got stops. We got stops at the end. Had some key uh, key offensive possessions where we scored where we needed baskets, and we're lucky to get a win on the road. Any road win is good. Any win is good. Uh, we're we're fortunate to win. Obviously, Paul Jones was clutched down the stretch. Two big threes in the in the final three minutes. Just talk about his play and what it meant to you. Paul was active all night uh, outside of the two, two shots that he made in the second half. Uh, was active on the glass, was active, uh, active defensively, keeping guys out of the paint in, their, in, uh, in what Moravian was doing off of their ball screens, keeping guys out of the paint, blocking out for the most part. Uh, had, a, had a lot of screens that led to scores for us. Paul was outside of the two shots, and those were big shots, don't get me wrong. But Paul was probably our most active player last night over 40 minutes, and, and I couldn't be happier for, for his effort and all, all of our effort last night. Talk about the um, play of uh, Anthony Bailey who had 10 points and 9 rebounds, and then uh, Jake Logue had a career high in both points and rebounds with 8-8. Eight and eight. Uh, Anthony, again, uh, plays with a lot of energy, uh, guards. Uh, first of all, he, he guards and he blocks out, uh, does his job. He's doing an excellent job this year of staying within himself, doing what he can do, and, um, and that's helped us. That's really helped us. He's somebody that we can go to off the bench, and he can play 25, 30 minutes a night and, and provide us with great energy, great, uh, great defensive effort, and, when, and he's scoring on the offensive side because he's able to drive it, and he's driving under control and, and taking the ball up strong. Uh, Jake's going to be a really good player. Uh, could not not say enough about Jake in his first two collegiate games. Uh, very good defensively in position, in position, uh, very, very good in position, I should say. And uh, he'll, he'll block out. And on the offensive end, uh, he's able to screen and be a second action guy. And, and he got to the line last night and did some pretty good things. Uh, obviously, you got big play from uh, Zach Dumich and uh, Miles McLeod. Zach had uh, six points, eight rebounds, four steals, and Miles had also six points, eight rebounds, and two steals. Just talk about what they meant to you last night. Miles wasn't working on the offensive end a whole lot for Miles. When he goes, I think, one for six, and then gets to the line four times, makes all four th free throws. Uh, where Miles helped us out last night, again, was on the defensive end of the floor and, and blocking out and rebounding the ball. Uh, I tell our, our guys all the time, if shots aren't falling, you can make up for it and stay on the floor. If you're active on a defensive end, you block people out. Uh, Miles was key and played a lot of the game in foul trouble. Had two fouls in the first half, picked up his fourth foul with about 10 minutes left, and, and finished the game out. Uh, very active on a defensive end, blocked people out, uh, helped us get stops at the end. And Zach is probably one of the most steady consistent players uh, that I've been around in terms of not turning the ball over, getting guys where they need to be offensively, making key shots when asked, and, and also doing his work on the defensive end of the floor where I think he's really one of the better defenders in our league. Uh, doesn't score a lot. You don't, you don't notice him on the floor, but at the end of the day, he ends up with six points, eight rebounds, and, and a handful of assists. And really paces us throughout 40 minutes. He's somebody that, that right now I can't imagine playing a game without uh, in terms of the way he handles the ball, handles pressure, and defends and, and gets guys going. So looking to your upcoming week, you have the game Saturday against Swarthmore. Um, what do they bring to the table? What you know? What do they? I uh, haven't seen Swarthmore yet. Uh, I know that they're a veteran group. They have a lot of juniors. Sophomore and junior led just like us. Uh, they come from a great league. The Centennial Conference is consistently one of the top five conferences in Division Three, and we're on the road. It'll be a challenge for us, but I think that we're comfortable. With, we're comfortable with that challenge, and I expect us to go down there and, and play hard and give up, give ourselves a shot. 